Hey guys, it's me Sarah, and I've got all my lovely little mini packs um, out. As you can see, I kind of accumulated an extra one from my last um, opening. Um, but now I'm going to be adding 24 more mini packs and collector shopkins to my collection because I got these awesome oh so real mini packs which is totally cool um these are mini packs that are based off of real products so yet <laughs> um i saw my froggy stuff do like do do an opening with these and i saw them and i'm like oh my gosh i want to find these and like they're like so many cool products i mean they got Rice Krispie Treats, Swiss Miss Hot Chocolates, freaking Cheez Its, Pop Tarts, and they have like they have kid cuisines. I like I remember eating those when I was younger. I'm just like, ah. Oh. But yeah, they have like all of these like real world products, and inside each there are there's a Shopkins inside each of these. Um, there's 24 um total ones, and each pack has 12 in it. So I found both of them. And I guess according to my froggy stuff, these are for like a limited time only. Um, and I found this at Walmart. I think they're only at Walmart for a while. But uh, yeah, the back of the box looks really nice. It has all these fun little... It has all the images of all the products. And then, you know, down here, you know, you have all the... The writing, what it contains, as you can see, there's 12 Shopkins, 12 mini packs, and one collector's guide. And here it says, you know, there's 24 total items. So, yeah. I am super excited to get these out of the box. So I'm going to unbox these and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I have all of these mini packs out of the box and... Yeah, there's a lot, and I kind of <laughs> ran out of room, as you can see. Yeah, there's some back there. And, of course, like all Shopkins-related stuff, um, it comes with the lovely checklist. And one thing I like about this is it's not, like, a million feet long. Um, so, you know, it's not going to... So, I'm not going to be, like, flipping all over the place trying to find something. Um, I also ordered, um, all of my mini packs here, all these lovely things, um, in order of the checklist. So, I made sure that, you know, I had all of them, which I do, I checked, uh, all corresponds with the checklist. Um, so, one of the things with the min um, with these mini packs, um, is, um, they each have a Shopkins that corresponds with them. So here, Toasty Bread is going to be in the butter container. Whereas the, um, whereas the other mini packs, um, it was just a completely random Shopkins. You don't know who you're getting inside. Like my, like my jam jar back here, I ended up with a peanut butter <laughs> Shopkins inside of it. So anyways, enough with me rambling. Let's get on to the mini packs, opening the little mini packs. So... Here we have our box of Cheez-Its, and here we go, we're just going to pop this open like so, and here we have our little Shopkins, and like I said, I already know who's inside each of these, but it is still fun to open them on camera. So right here we have Cheesy. And this Shopkins is from season one. If I remember correctly, I think I I think I got a cheesy back with my first round of Shopkins. Don't remember exactly for sure. I have to check that video again. But yeah, cheesy is in the Cheez Its box, which is very fitting. It is Cheez Its are cheese crackers. Okay, either way, moving on to the uh, to these fudge stripes. Which this opens like a shoebox. Um, I kid you not, like the number of times like I've gone to Dollar General with my sister and just begged me to get her a box of fudge stripes. Um, they're 
Um, since I don't think they're they're normally this brand, but either way, that's just kind of like a little side note. So, anyways, here we have a very ooh, this is a very nicely colored cheeky chocolate. It's a very nicely colored. Uh, cheeky is from season one. So you just close up the fudge stripes and move on to Pop-Tarts. So there are two, so there's two different flavors of Pop-Tarts. Pop Good lordy, my stuttering. Um, there's the strawberry and then the cinnamon brown sugar, which I'll get to next. But for now, let's open the strawberry ones. Um... Yeah, I remember having these around the house a lot when I was younger. Um, my parents would, would basically only buy us the strawberry and cinnamon brown sugar. Not so much cinnamon brown sugar anymore, but, um, yeah, I don't eat Pop-Tarts a ton. So, oh, this is also very nicely colored. This is uh, Lolly Poppins, and she is from Season 1. Alright. So let's close up our strawberry pop tarts and move on to the cinnamon brown sugar. And that was my cat. All right, come on. Oh shoot, I'm gonna rip the box. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you have to be careful with some of these because they are um, paperboard. As you can see, I kind of ripped it a little there. Oopsies. All right. And now. We just open up our Shopkins. Out here, and oh, nice. Again, this is very nicely colored. This is Fairy Crumbs, as you can see. Very cute. And this is Season 1 as well. I think a lot of these are Season 1. Alright. Now we shall move on to the Eggo Waffles. These are um, home style. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of like home style and buttermilk waffles because they just taste really plain. Um, whenever I do get waffles, it has to be like there has to be like something in it, like blueberry. That's the one I commonly get. It's either blueberry or chocolate chip. But I don't like the taste of the home style or buttermilk because they just taste really bland and whatnot. All right, so here we have Googie. Which is a little egg, and this is again season one. Season uno. I don't know how to say season in Spanish. Alright, moving on. We have this box of Rice Krispie Treats. This is one of my favorite cereals. Um, whether it's the actual Kellogg's brand or just off-brand. Hi, Bender. But, um, yeah. So, let's just slice this open and reveal Breaky Crunch. I actually have a Breaky Crunch. Um, so yeah, this is from Season 1. Um, again, this is kind of like another um, nostalgia callback thing. Similar with, um, Candy here. Um, but the one I have is white and sparkly because it was one of the rare ones you you could find um so yeah moving on to our next cereal we have fruit loops i don't i haven't really eaten fruit loops too much because uh i just never really buy fruit loops but you know still a cute little box so, open, opening it up, we have this cute little one. This is Juicy Orange from Season 2. I mean, remember that right? Yeah, Season 2. I had to check the little medallion on the back. So, yep. We have Juicy Orange in our Fruit Loops box. And now we have Frosted Flakes. Again, this is like another very common thing. This is like another common cereal that, that we usually buy. Um, 
Especially when I, when I, when I, when I, when I, especially when I was younger. I'm sorry, I'm stuttering like a nutcase. All right. And here we have spilt milk. Oh, it's crying. It's crying. Um, this is season one. So that's nice. We have some milk with our cereal. Even though it is spilt and it's crying. All right. Pringles. I haven't actually eaten Pringles in a while. But, you know, they are good chips. Let me try and get this. There we go. Open without launching it. With, without launching the mini pack halfway across the room again. Actually, I didn't launch it last halfway across the room last time. It was still was fairly close, but still. I still launched it. Either way. So here we have Crispy Chip. Again, I think this is one that I actually have. This is season one, so I think I have this one, only it's not red. I forget what color it is, but it actually, the coloring actually fits really nice with the Pringles container. So, let me just push this aside and move on to the sour cream and onion. Um, this was one of my favorite, this, this was like my favorite flavor of like chips when I was younger. Um, now I either like to go for the baked chips or sour cream and cheddar. Alright, so let's free our lovely Shopkins from its mini pack. And here we have, what is this, Boohoo Onion, which is season two. Which is very fitting, considering this is sour cream and onion chips. We have ourselves a little onion inside. All right, now let's move on to these little animal crackers. Again, this was something like very common that I ate when I was younger because, you know, I was a little kid. We all like animal crackers. Remember when I went to like the doctor's office when I was younger, um, after the appointments, they, we could, we'd get like a little cup of um, animal crackers and some sticker and a thing of stickers. They don't do that anymore, which is kind of sad because I really... I still really do like animal crackers because, you know, I'm 17, but I'm 7 at heart. Alright, and here we have Delish Donuts, which is season 1. That is a very nice um, purple color on the back. And this is a very nice, very nice coloring. Alright, flatten out the bag and move it over here. Move on to these Furt Snacks. Again, something I absolutely love. I don't know if I've had this brand, but um, I have eaten Furt Snacks, and yeah, I like them a lot. Alright. Let's pull this out. Come on. Okay, it's stuck. Here we go. And now this wrinkly, wrinkly bag shall be opened. And we have Strawberry Kiss, which is season one. So, yep, we have our lovely little Strawberry Kiss. And I'm just going to flip the thing over. And we have the butter container, and I already kind of spoiled who was in here earlier but I am going to open it up anyways and tell you in case you dozed off during my rambling because yeah oh this is very nicely colored it's like I said before this is toasty bread in our butter container actually when I was younger I used to like basically like like drown my toast um um in um in butter um now I'm now I more or less like put like a thick layer of Nutella on it because you know all right so we have Chef Boyardee beef ravioli something I wouldn't eat because I don't like beef yes I said that I don't like beef say what you want but I don't like it all right wait 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 did I say what what toasty what season toasty bread was from uh, Toasty Bread is season three. Season three. I have to check the medallion. The light in here is not exactly great. Oh, my boy, already. 
Okay, so here we have Fasta Pasta. And this is season two, I believe. Yep, season two. So we have Fasta Pasta in our ravioli. Let's cap that. Put Fasta up here. And here we have some beef franks. Again, wouldn't eat these because I don't like beef. Actually, there was one time I was um, I was at like a barbecue and I and I um, they were cooking hot they were cooking hot dogs and hamburgers and obviously I went for the hot dog which is something I normally don't like but you know if they're grilled they're really good. So I went for a hot dog because like I said I don't like beef and. It tasted really weird, and I didn't really like it, and then I learned it was a beef hot dog, and I'm like, yeah, no wonder I didn't like the taste of it. Alright, so this is Frankfurter. If you didn't fall asleep during my rambling story monologue of my life. So, yeah, here we have our cute little Frankfurter in our Hebrew National uh, Beef Franks, and there goes my hot dog. All right, moving on, we have some diced tomatoes. So, this is like what, pate is how you say that? I don't know. Either way. If I can get this, oh, there we go. Oh, these little plastic ones are hard to get open in the... Well, butter container wasn't, wasn't, wasn't too hard to get open, but you know. These little cans are a little, a little tricky. All right. And here we have another uh, one that I got earlier. Cherry tomato, as you can see. And here is my other cherry tomato that I unboxed in the previous video. Um, so, yeah. Very nice. Indeed. Um, if I remember correctly, it is from season three. I had to check the medallion. All right, so moving on to the next one. It is the Kid Cuisine. Right here, and like I said, I ate these a lot when I was young. Oh, where, where do I open this? Oh, it's up here. Um, I ate these a lot when I was younger. Now we usually just, now we just get the Hungry Men. But yeah, when I was younger, we ate a lot of Kid Cuisine. Um, we commonly got, like, the nuggets, and I think they had a pizza one that we got a lot. Um, I think I always enjoyed the ones that had, like, the pudding in it, because you could put sprinkles. I think one had, I, th I think, I think there was, like, one pudding that had, like, Pop Rocks in it. <laughs> Alright, so here we have our Season 1 Shopkins here, and this is Cheesy B. Very nice. Like I said, it is season one, and is and it is a little hamburger. Um. So yeah, very cute. Moving on, we have sloppy Joe sauce. Again, something I am not really too fond of, but hey, this is still a very cute little thing. And now we have. Our Shopkins inside. Let me cut it all the way. I just need to cut it big enough to get my fingers in here. Alright, so here, this is Garlic Rose, which is a little thing of garlic. I actually really love garlic. Um, garlic's one of my favorite things. I don't know. Uh, what's up next? The Apple Pie. Dutch Apple Pie. So let's pry this little baby open, pull out our Shopkins, and set it free from its yellow bag that is littering the side of my sister's desk. Alright, so here we have Fifi Tart, well, oh, Fifi Fruit Tart, sorry, I missed a word there. All right, there's a little fruit tart inside. Oh yeah, uh, what is this one? Season two. Uh, what, what season's garlic from? Two as well. Garlic rose is season two, and so is um, Fifi fruit tart. All right, next up is the popcorn. You can hear my 
cat rattling in the background. Or I should say Lillian's cat, because technically she likes him better. Alright. What are you doing down there? Alright. So now, we slice this open, and we have... Um, Corny Cob, which is season two. Um, it would have been, like, really cool if they put, um, the, um, the actual, like, popcorn shopkins in here. But, hey, I'm not gonna complain too much. Alright, so next up we have the Swiss Miss. So, yay! I love hot chocolate. <laughs> It is literally, like, one of the only good parts about winter, aside from getting to wear my earmuffs, is hot chocolate. Alrighty. Here we have our little whipped cream dollops. Whipped cream is very nice on hot chocolate, and it helps to, like, cool it down nicely so you don't, like, completely burn off your taste buds <laughs> you're like first sip all right next we have the um these diced tomatoes all right come on there we go Jeez, these little these things are tough to open this video is like really long it's just me rambling on opening mini packs but hey it's fun Alright, so here we have our, what is this one? Silly Chili, and it is season two. Alright, so here we have Silly Chili. I am not really that big of a fan of spicy food, but hey, you know, it's still a cute little chili. Alright, so this is our second class one, which is um, our... Peter Pan peanut butter. I am actually not that big of a fan of peanut butter. And my mom is actually allergic to nuts. So, dang, this thing is hard to open. There we go. Okay, jeez. Ow. Keep worrying. The peanut butter jar is going to be a pain to open. Good lordy. Alright, so here we have Fredhead, and this is Season 1. I think the majority of these are Season 1. But yeah, so you have Breadhead on your little... You can see I have some bread for your peanut butter. And what goes good with peanut butter but jelly! So this is Welsh's grape jelly. Again, something I'm not really a big fan of. This is actually like the little, the second jar of jelly I have, so you can have some tasty spreads, the Shopkins brand, or, or you, or you can have the actual Welsh's brand, and you can choose between strawberry or grape. Either way, so let's pry this open without injuring my hands. There we go. And now, we have... Ba, ba, ba. Opening up our final mini pack, we have Scony, which is season three. So we have come to the end of this Shopkins journey. As you can see, we have all of the all of my mini packs that I have so far, along with the amounts of yellow bags here. <laughs> I just knocked them all over the place. All right. So, yeah. So this has been my mini pack opening. Bender, really? Okay, so either way. So this has been my opening of all of the Oh So Real mini packs that have been released by Moose Toys the creator of Shopkins. So, yeah. Um, I really like these a lot. I think they're super cute. And to have, and to have like, real products, um, 
with um with the Shopkins is just amazing. So yeah, um please like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So bye. Say bye, Bender. Bye.